My name is Nathan Truesdell. I went to Mizzou. My major was computer science. I went to high school in Moberly, Missouri, but I've lived in Columbia for the past 12 years. I am a judge of the films at the Silver Screen Film Festival this year. I'm currently producing a film about Branson, Missouri. Um, it's a documentary that we've shot for two years, and I'm in the process of editing it with a friend of mine, the, one of the directors of the film. Um, I've worked on a ton of like short documentaries and music videos and other things with these local guys, Boxcar Films. Um, I do some freelance work with another company called Arable Entertainment, who's here in Columbia. And uh, I've worked with Chip Gubera, who's uh, one of your fine Mizzou professors, um, and worked, in, worked with the IT department over there. Uh, Oh, I've done a ton of weird little things throughout the years here. I started out as a PA on some films, and then I moved up to doing like art direction, and then I would shoot stuff. I did a lot of camera stuff for people's short films. I just tried to learn all aspects of filmmaking. I like cinematography a lot, and I like editing a lot. Those seem to be what I'm usually drawn to when it comes to making films. I got into filmmaking when I was like 14 or 15, and it was actually like the big VHS cameras. Um, and you know, it would just be me and my friends trying to make movies. We didn't have any editing software, and so we would actually shoot one take of everything and edit in camera, so you would shoot this way and then shoot a reversal of the next person and then pause it and then sh turn it around and and uh, I don't know I did that for years and then came to college started making better films they're still crappy but and just continued to to learn on the job yeah it was just some consumer version I think somebody stole it actually I know somebody stole it I don't want to <laughs> tell you where from though I've always been a film nerd, I guess, is kind of where seems to be the inspiration for most people. And it was just kind of the process of the mix of technical things mixed with artistic things. And I don't know, I've always been really technical, but have always really enjoyed art at the same time. And so it just kind of came from that. I was always passionate about filmmaking, and I... I got a lot of opportunities to work on films. Like I just kept pursuing it and pursuing it and pursuing it. And I was working a job as a computer programmer and it was, you know, sitting in a cubicle every day and it was kind of a soul sucking job. And I got an opportunity to work on this film. Someone asked me to work on their film and um, I asked the job if I could have two weeks off without pay and they said no. And so I just quit to make like 500 bucks to work on a film and just made it work from there. Started uh, freelancing for people and doing different things. It always just comes from some random idea. You kind of, you know, you always have that idea in the back of your mind, like, oh, this would be a good piece, or this, like, you know, you just see some scenery and you're like, oh, that looks very nice. Like, I, I wish I could shoot that. Um, but out of that little piece usually sparks a bigger idea and you come up with some sort of story. Um, and just writing that story down, I think that each project has its own kind of organic process to, from beginning to end. Um, documentary is a lot different than narrative because narrative you can plan out each piece and you kind of get more of an idea of what your original idea was ends up on the screen. But in doing documentaries, you have an idea and you chase after that idea and it usually surprises you with what you find. So I don't, I don't know, I think, it, I think it completely varies from piece to piece and it seems like the longer a piece is going to be, the more surprises you're gonna find in it. You have more control over say a 30 second piece than you would over an hour and a half piece. You actually don't need any sh shooting permits on public property in Missouri. You can shoot pretty much anywhere you want. I think we have a very pretty state. We have four seasons here that you can, you know, you can shoot the snow or you can shoot the 
the heat of the summer. As far as documentary goes, it seems like, well, the Midwest in general is kind of an untapped area because a lot of people, a lot of people who watch documentaries and a lot of people who are in the documentary industry are from the coasts. And so, you know, I, for example, I know these guys who made this film about their hometown in Ohio called 45365. And they said when they premiered it in New York City, a lot of people were like, wow, that's really exploitive of like the small town America. And they're like, no, it's not. We like love this town. This is where we're from. These are all the people that we grew up with. And like, this is a film about, you know, our lives and where we're from. But people saw it differently because, you know, they, it wasn't something that they were used to. But I think that there's a lot of that here that people really haven't seen, you know, what the area has to offer. There's a lot of interesting characters in Missouri, and there's a lot of passion and a lot of hard work for people in the state who, you know, want to go get it. I think that we're, especially it seems like in Columbia, there's a big outburst of filmmakers just coming and growing up and learning off of each other and bouncing ideas off of each other, and it seems like it's, it's headed in the right direction for sure.